Isaiah chapter 38, verse 5, and then we'll skip down to verses 15 to 19. And the word of the Lord states in verse 5 of Isaiah 38, it states, Go and tell Hezekiah. Thus says the Lord, the God of David, your father, I have heard your prayer. I have seen your tears. Surely I will add to your days 15 years. Verse 15, please. Verse 16 states, O Lord, by these things men live, and in all these things is the life of my spirit, so you will restore me and make me live. Sometimes 30 to 60 minutes, and they would sit back and ask you a 
they was going to run on you. Come on, say amen. They was going to apply the board of education to your suit of understanding. So what they would do when the timer was out, they would go and inspect and investigate to see if you had done
and turn yourself, turn your face from your own human situation and have a little talk with Jesus. I like that because, beloved brothers and sisters, this text lets me know that God hears prayer. Oh, my God, my God. God hears the long prayers and God hears the short prayers. He said, Hezekiah, I have heard your prayers, but not only have I heard your prayers, I have seen your tears. Come on, say amen. I'm so thankful that God is not only a tear seer, but God
rascal, my little brother, do whatever he wants to do. Now, my father, when I was young, told me to go sit myself down. I march like a soldier and set my hips down. But they gotta sit there and plead with little son to go and sit down. I'm like, so what my father does now, he carries a paddle around with Sean's name on it. Because he says, listen here, if I don't carry this paddle, Sean will not learn how to walk right. Oh my God, my God. I'm preaching down to you responding. See, sometimes God has to carry a paddle because you ain't going to come to church. You ain't going to pay your tithe and offering. And so God says, I've got to carry a paddle with your name on it so you can learn how to walk. Someone say, God, why me? Because you don't know how to walk. Your mouth is so big. You kill everybody in your presence. You got to learn how to walk. And so Hezekiah said, I walk carefully out of reverence for God, but I also walk carefully because of the rod of God. David said, it was good that I was afflicted because before I was afflicted, I went astray. But now I keep your word. I want to thank you, God, for the rod. David, but David, you gotta look at the subtle meaning in the text. David 
says, Lord, you get better praise not from an angel. You get better praise from a delivered saint. Oh, my God. You get better praise from one who has seen death, but now who is delivered from death. Oh, my God, my God, my God. He said, God, if you wake me out of existence right now, you're going to be hungry for my praise. And so David says, in light of that, I'm better alive than dead. Can I pose a question to us? Jesus, are you better alive than dead?
But Sister Davis, as Kurt Carr says, God blocked it. Yeah. 